Want to ask you about the pitchfork? Sure. Uh, I'm guessing it's symbolic somehow. Oh, it's a tool. Just, just like this is a tool. They have different purposes, not necessarily all of them deadly. So, so do you generally open carry your pitchfork? Uh, <laughs> I felt pretty goofy carrying this thing around, so um, no. If, if you disarm people from their firearms, you can. There's all kinds of other deadly tools that you can use, you know, so you can be afraid of guns, but you can still stab somebody through the neck with a pitchfork or a baseball bat or a hammer or a car or, you know, the list just goes on and on, so it's just a tool. Got anything to add other than uh, what's written on your sign? Yeah, you, uh, you know, anybody that thinks giving the politicians control of all the guns has a lot too much trust in government. I mean, think about it. You want to trust politicians to protect your family. Oh, you mean the same group that's uh, currently got a $16.4 trillion debt? Yeah. And plus over $100 trillion of unfunded liabilities? Yeah, and they also, it's the same government that's giving guns to Mexican drug dealers. So that the and, the Syrian drug dealers rebels, and the Syrian rebels. While, while currently using drones in Pakistan, Afghanistan, yeah. Yemen, Libya, yeah. Iraq. Yeah, you know, Obama killed, what, 130, 179 children in Pakistan last year? Innocent children? Yeah. You know, that's 179. I'm, I'm sorry. I, you know, it's horrible that any child dies in a violent way. Uh, but the best way to protect your families is with weapons superior to, equal to, or superior to any weapon that might come against you. In the L.A. riots, it was another case of the police couldn't be there. The police, they couldn't be everywhere. There was trouble. And store owners protected their lives and protected their property by just brandishing an assault rifle. They didn't even fire the assault rifle. They just brandished the assault rifle, and that protected lives and properties you know if when there's a great saying when seconds count the police are minutes away and beyond that it's just the ridiculousness of trusting politicians to protect your life and your family and your property Chicago has some of the great strongest gun laws in the nation but we're not hearing about the 436 children that were shot in Chicago last year are we you know we're just hearing about all oh, these evil rifles all oh, these evil this we need to take them but you, the gun laws haven't worked we you know in prisons they can't keep drugs and weapons out of prisons what makes people think they can keep weapons out of the US just because they make them illegal that's wishful thinking and it's just ridiculous so people really need to think twice about it and prevent all these knee-jerk reactions as everybody I'm sure is aware on the 16th President Obama signed some pieces of paper the mainstream media, I'm going to make this brief, the mainstream media is, is telling you that he signed 23 executive orders on the 16th. This is patently false. President Obama signed no executive orders on the 16th. What he did sign was an executive action or executive memoranda. If you go to the website, whitehouse.gov forward slash briefing room, you will find that there are tabs there for executive orders, executive memoranda, and executive uh, uh, actions. If you look under executive orders, the last one was December 27th. He did not sign any executive orders on, on the 16th. If you look under executive actions, you'll see the 23 actions that he's just outlined there. They have no force of law, they're just suggestions, they have no effect on any gun owners or anything that we're doing right now.